seats. But to start the clock on this historic anniversary countdown, let's take a look at how the pageant began and how she's grown over 75 memorable years. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Why is September different than all the other months? Right, because it's this American pageant. The competitors in the Atlantic City beauty pageant make a lovely bouquet, which is just as mesmerizing when broken up into individual blossoms. shorts on men. I'm very sorry, gentlemen, but I do not. They get prettier and younger every year. Welcome to the most colorful Miss America pageant ever. See what I mean about variety? If I blow it, you'll know it. Look who's talking. Well, all right, suppose we both stop talking. Fantastic around here. Miss Utah, Charlie Wells. Miss Tennessee, Kevin Gass. Kay Lonnie Redemptor, Miss Michigan. Miss South Carolina. Yes, indeed, those were the days, and there'll be more great clips as we count down to tonight's competition. You know, putting on a pageant at Atlantic City did keep the tourists coming, but the minute those first Miss America bathing beauties appeared in swimsuits, a heated controversy began. Yeah. And it hasn't let up for 75 years. That's right. You see, back in the 20s, you weren't even allowed on the boardwalk in bathing attire, uh -huh. as they quaintly called it back then. And if you dared to do it, uh -huh. you got arrested, buddy. Don't forget that. It was those first Miss America contestants parading down the boardwalk in swimsuits who started people talking. And to help calm the critics, Atlantic City police finally had to put on swimsuits themselves. But somehow the controversy over swimsuits would not go away. And the debate rages on. Some say if this is truly a scholastic program, what do swimsuits have to do with it? Okay. Huh? Okay. Others say eliminate the swimsuits and you wouldn't have a Miss America pageant. That makes sense too. <laughs> I think we know how they feel. All right. The point is this. Everybody's got an opinion about this. So here's the deal. The loyalty of the American public is one of the big reasons this pageant has been so successful over the years. You've invested your time and interest in the pageant, and so tonight you, our Miss America viewers, will tell us what to do. Should we or shouldn't we keep the swimsuit competition as part of tonight's pageant? As you have no doubt heard by now, the Miss America organization is putting the swimsuit controversy to a national phone-in vote. It's time to stop fetching, folks. What? Put fetching. Put 50 cents together for a call and make your voice heard tonight. 
Talk about interactive TV, this is it. Miss America's phone lines are about to open, so let's go to the phone center in Omaha, Nebraska, and meet our Miss America correspondent, Steve Kometko. Steve, tell our viewers how easy it is to vote. All right, Kathy Lee and Regis, welcome to the phone center in Omaha, Nebraska, where we are expecting what should be the largest interactive vote in television history. That's right. In just a few moments, our 900 number is going to open from coast to coast, including Alaska and Hawaii, which I guess means we're coast to coast to coast to coast, since they have their own coast. Voting is very, very simple, so listen up. If you want to keep the swimsuit competition as a part of the pageant, you want to vote yes. You do so by dialing 1-900-268-2200. If you want to see the swimsuit competition eliminated, you want to vote no by dialing 1-900-268-2300. Those are the numbers. It's that simple. And uh, as a matter of fact, we want to make certain you know, for one thing, it's 50 cents a call. Each call counts as one vote. And if you're under 18, we don't want to get any parents angry with us. Please ask permission before you call us. Also, we'd like you to know that each call, uh, after the phone bill is paid tonight, the remaining proceeds are going to go to charity, so that's another reason to give us a, a call this evening. Now, this is the point at which I was supposed to press a button and say the phone lines are officially open. However, this place is so automated that a computer pushes the button. However, I still get to say the phone lines are now officially open. So, take a little time to think about it. Talk it over with a little man. Talk it over with a little woman. Give us a phone call. Let us know your opinion. We want to hear from you, America. Kathy Lee and Regis. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. We'll be checking back with Steve at the phone center throughout the show, so don't forget to vote. Now, should tonight's Miss America swimsuit competition be kept or should it be eliminated? We've asked some television stars out in Hollywood who had this to say. I would keep the swimsuit competition because I think it's important for these girls to look fit. I think that's part of the package. I feel that anything that, that even hints at uh, that beauty is the only uh, mark of uh, excellence in our culture is, is a danger. I would eliminate the swimsuit competition completely because I don't think people want to see me in a swimsuit. I think that the criticism to it is a little bit misdirected because for me, the feminist movement was all about choice. The women in this pageant have actively chosen to participate knowing that the swimsuit competition is an intricate part of it. NBC's presentation of the 75th annual Miss America Pageant Lip Color. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Lip -lip. This is a presidential election year. If a qualified woman were running for president, how would you feel about voting for her and why? If the men candidates running were qualified, I feel I would vote against her. My reasons being that women are very high-strung and emotional people. They aren't reliable enough when it comes to making a decision, a snap decision. What a genuine thrill it is to welcome back so many former Miss Americas to the we're all intrigued. How's that controversy shaping up where you are? Well, I'll hope to live up to the level of your intrigue, Mr. Uh, Philbin. Uh, so far, uh, we're getting a lot of calls here, tens of thousands from all over the country. Uh, as expected, we're hearing from uh, the large cities, but we're also hearing from America's rural areas as well. Now, let's see if I can remember this correctly. There are 11,000 phone lines here at the phone center devoted to tonight's call-in, and they can take in more than 6 million calls an hour. Pretty impressive, huh? Right now, we're going to check in with... Uh, Kelly Miles. She's with the accounting firm of Ernst & Young, LLP. She's in charge of, uh, well, at least you're the representative for the company tonight. How many calls have we received so far? Over 200,000, Steve. And that's in just about half an hour. You have an hour left to register your vote. Remember, once again, yes means let's keep the swimsuit competition. No means let's eliminate it. Think about it. Listen to some of our man-on-the-street opinions. Hear what our stars out Hollywood way have to say and uh, then pick up the phone and catch your vote. But right now, via satellite, it's back to the convention center. Uh, thanks so much, Steve. Kathy Lee and I want you all to know that during the five years that we've hosted the Miss America pageant, we've not only had great fun, but seeing so many young women achieve their dreams has been a real privilege. 
and the hosts have changed over the years. Actor Ron Ely was MC back in 1980 and 81. Then Gary Collins hosted with his wife, former Miss America Mary Ann Mobley. Then again with former Miss America Phyllis George. And also a couple of years with you know who. And now there's us. Well, thanks for remembering. <laughs> but the master of ceremonies who we remember so fondly and to whom we all owe a debt of gratitude was that wise court jester and gentle humanitarian, Bert Parks. Here in Atlantic City, the talent competition is about to begin. It's a great pleasure to introduce the master of ceremonies for this Miss America pageant, Bert Parks. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you. If you're young at heart. You feel relaxed. Oh, very relaxed. I feel terrible. For it's hard you will find to be narrow of mind. If you're young at heart. I have delivered many a winner and never lost a passion yet. And if you should survive to a hundred and five. What the heck is a plural of Miz? Look at all of you. You're right. They'll have to work on that. Just Miss or Miz. How do you the great? Now, here is the best part. You have a head start. If you are amongst the very young at heart. She is Miss Sally Miller. And she will, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we're a little late, so good night, folks. We're a little late, so good night, folks. <laughs> good night, all. I'll see you. I sound a little bit like a broken record. I'm going to bite their noses off. How do you like that? They have all the wrong names here. Gee, this is swell. Well, anyway. I'm going to give it to them anyway. I don't care. I got scholarships I ain't used yet, you know. And if you should survive to 105... We're honored to present you with this plaque here to commemorate your 25th year with the pageant. I want to tell you something, my friend. It's a great now honor, seriously, to receive an award. But the real honor... And this I mean from my heart has been sharing this passion with you, the people, you, the people in the television audience. I thank you. You are the reason why I'm here. I guess I would keep the swimsuit competition in the Miss America pageant just because it's tradition. I'm proud to say I'm a heterosexual American male. I like ladies in swimsuits, period. I would keep the swimsuit competition because I think everyone should have to wear a swimsuit while they watch it. Whether or not the Miss America pageant pursues this course, there will always be girls in bikinis on Baywatch. To the thousands of Miss America volunteers, local, state, and nationwide. You've had a funny experience? Yes. <laughs> Can you tell us about it? Yes, Miss California and I have been dating the same cadet. <laughs> what is the solution to this problem? Well, I don't know, but I think he has two very lovely ex-girlfriends. <laughs> The Charleston. The Watch meteorologist Brad Nitz weekends on 12 News. Do you think it is important that the United States reaches the moon? I don't feel that we are ever going to reach the moon because we were born here and I feel this is where we are to stay. Thank you so much. Tests, resignations, mysterious disappearances. Just a few of the controversial sparks that have kept the Miss America pageant making headlines for 75 years. In early pageants, contestants, well, they sometimes, they fudge the facts, yes. Judges found that an early Miss Boston was not only married Reach, they later discovered she had a three-month-old baby, but he wasn't named Cody. I knew she'd get that name in somewhere. <laughs> But what about those creative television executives who envisioned the pageant as a spectacular ice show? You think about it. I could be doing this with Tonya Harding. Why not? Where is she when I need her? 
Watch out what you wish for, you may get it. <laughs> but lucky for us, the pageant has not only survived its controversies, but more often than not, it has changed and it has matured because of them. Exactly. Now, here's a look at some of those infamous moments that put Miss America on the front page. In 1937, Atlantic City woke to a Miss America mystery. The disappearance of 17-year-old winner, Betty Cooper. Betty, along with her handsome pageant escort, could not be found. It was later revealed that the faithful chaperone was helping Betty to hide because she wanted to stay in school. The abandoned crown went to a very surprised Alice Emmerich, Miss Texas. The press packed up their cameras and stomped out of Convention Center in 1948 when they learned that Miss America would no longer be crowned in a swimsuit. But they changed their mind when Minnesota's lovely BB shop won the title. The first Miss America to be crowned in an evening gown. Miss Minnesota, it gives me great pleasure to crown you Miss America, and I know you'll be a grand one. Thank you, Mama Jo. I'm so happy. When the family of Miss America winner Marilyn came up on stage in 1958, the proud and happy gathering looked picture perfect. 34 years later, Marilyn bravely revealed her terrible secret, that since the age of five, she had been sexually abused by her father. Today, Marilyn continues her campaign against similar child abuse. Controversies of those early decades paled, however, when compared to the pageants of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. In 1968, a group calling themselves the Women's Liberation Front crashed Convention Center. I will make way for Miss America 1969 to search for her special someday. Earlier, they disrupted the boardwalk, tossing bras, girdles, and hair curlers into trash cans, shouting, freedom. 20 years have gone by since my first Miss America pageant. And I want to tell you that these girls do not look a day older. Even gentle Burt Parks made headlines. Audiences who had spent 25 years enjoying Burt as the pageant's master of ceremonies were outraged at his dismissal in 1980. But no one was more surprised than Burt who unfortunately learned about his pink slip by chance through a reporter before he was officially notified. Shortly after she was crowned in 1992, Carolyn Sapp blew the lid off domestic violence in America as she shared her terrifying story of sexual and physical abuse by an out-of-control ex-boyfriend. Her crusade against personal violence continues. But no one reached the heights of controversy more than Vanessa Williams, Miss America 1984. Talented and much loved, Vanessa gave up her crown when it was revealed that pictures she had posed for in the past were purchased and would be published by Penthouse Magazine. Runner-up Suzette Charles, who became the nation's second Black Miss America, accepted the title for the remaining 54 days, gracefully navigating troubled waters to proudly wear that coveted and sometimes controversial crown. All right, let's check in with Omaha, Nebraska. Steve, I'm not too good at the suspense thing. Tell us what's happening with the vote. How are we doing? You're going to have to bite your nails in the t for the time being, Regis, because I'm not going to reveal the breakdown just yet, but I can tell you this. There were 3 million phone attempts in the first 13 minutes that the phone lines were open. Now, I know I told you earlier that this equipment could take more than 6 million calls an hour. Just not all at one time, okay? So keep trying if you're getting a busy signal so far more than 500,000 people have gotten through, and I understand some of you are calling the convention center in Atlantic City to say you've gotten a busy signal? Uh -uh. Call here. Yes, if you want to keep the swimsuit competition, 1-900-268-2200. No, if you want to see the swimsuit competition eliminated, 1-900-268-2300. You have about 45 minutes left. This is uh, truly interactive TV because your vote will tell the producers whether or not to stage the swimsuit competition tonight. I don't think it's ever been done on this scale before, so we'll have to see what happens, how it comes out. Regis and Kathy Lee, what's happening at the convention center? Well, Steve, we're uh, backstage at the convention center, wrapping up our countdown minutes away from the start of tonight's big 75th anniversary Miss America pageant. Bellini, it's always very exciting back here. a little nervous, here. Regis. So am I. <laughs> our contestants are getting ready for the Parade of States and nervously awaiting the dream of a lifetime, the possibility of becoming the next Miss America. But before we crown Miss America 1996, uh, yes. yes, what about history? What, what about, about making it, history Reed? yourself as we announce your decision about tonight's exciting National Swimsuit vote later on during the pageant? 
Regis, by my countdown clock, it is uh, time to put on our party clothes. That is, if you brought party clothes. Did you bring party, party clothes? clothes? <laughs> One more remark, and I just may put on my tails. You'll have to come back and see what Elegant is all about, and you too, miss. This I gotta see. Remember, the phone lines are open for just another 30 minutes, so call in and vote. And we'll see you when we come back with the start of this year's exciting competition <laughs> and more updates on our continuing swimsuit vote. I'll get him in a swimsuit. NBC's presentation of the 75th Annual Miss America pageant. Congratulations on your 75th anniversary, Miss America. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're broadcasting live from coast to coast. Have you any idea what an ideal man should be? What is your idea? That would be one that was warm and sincere, gentle, but yet extremely firm with me, because I need someone that's firm. Thank you very much, Thank Ms. Thank you. Thank you. Happy 75th anniversary, Miss America. Thank you, everybody. It's time now to meet the men and women who have the important task and great responsibility of seeking and selecting the next Miss America. Please hold on to your applause, everybody, until we've finished welcoming all of tonight's judges. After gracing the cover of 30 fashion magazines, she's made a successful career transition to film and TV. Currently starring as Hope Brady on NBC's Days of Our Lives, Christian Alfonso. He made his Broadway debut in David Merrick's Carnival and received a Tony for his starring role in Promises, Promises, currently appearing on the hit TV series Law & Order, Jerry Orbach. Best-selling author, motivational speaker, and star of infomercials, she's reached millions with her positive messages about love, happiness, and a meaningful life. Barbara DeAngelis. A graduate of Sarah Lawrence College, she first appeared on television's 21 Jump Street. Today, her comic versatility shines as Vanessa on TV hit series, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Holly Robinson Pete. The youngest editor ever for American Vogue, she now designs under her own label for Hollywood's top leading ladies, Olympic ice champions, and gowns for that bride-to-be next door, Vera Wang. Sports commentator and entrepreneur, he captured the world when he broke Olympic records at the 1976 Games in Montreal. One of the world's greatest athletes, Bruce Jenner. Spokesperson, author, fitness buff, and fashion authority. Today she helps run Polo Ralph Lauren with her husband in Toronto, Canada, Miss America 1979, Kyleen Barker Hibbert. Our Miss America contestants join Johnny Mathis in tonight's first competition, and our 10 semifinalists follow as they move down the Miss America runway, competing in evening wear. to an end tonight but for Heather Whitestone Miss America 1995 what a year this has been really has the fact that Heather is profoundly deaf has only encouraged her to believe that even with a disability anything is possible we've been uplifted by her wisdom and positive attitude we've been touched by her warmth and courage and special grace we all love this lady ladies and gentlemen Miss America 1995 Heather Whitestone
Miss Alabama. I do is to believe in your dream, especially education, to face your obstacles, no matter how great. My deafness, it's just part of my life. And of course, I became a, a greater role model for the deaf community. And I'm very proud to represent the deaf but I also am so excited to represent everyone in our country, too. Heather, you've been a wonderful uh, Miss America. Everybody loves you, and you'll be inspiring us for a long time to come. What are your plans for the future, Heather? Yeah, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Because I gave so many people hope and encouragement this year, and I will be on board of director and an officer of the Helen Keller I Research Foundation, which is a worldwide organization. And uh, my national speaker tour for my platform started tomorrow. And you get I, no rest at all? Yes, I'm, I'm booked a tour forever, probably. Don't call, she's booked. <laughs> and then I have some ballet performance, and I'm very excited. And, and I have a chance to, like, to fly F-16 Air Force. And more excitingly, I will be part of this soccer Olympic opening ceremony from Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and you're going to be taking a little cruise with Sandy Patty. Oh, yeah, and that's why I did. I would be on a cruise with Sandy Patty. And she was a, a famous, I mean, she's a famous Christian for my talent competition. So we're going on a cruise together for the ministry. Boy, I hate to miss a good cruise. <laughs> we love you, Heather. You have been a brilliant and, and just inspirational Miss America. Hasn't she, everybody? Thank you, Heather. One of the most memorable experiences of Heather's year was a visit to the White House. Thanks to continued support of former Miss America Phyllis George and her close and longtime friendship with our nation's first lady, Phyllis graciously set in motion a historic Miss America moment as Heather presented First Lady Hillary Clinton with the coveted Woman of Achievement Award. here celebrating the 1995 Women of Achievement Award. Helping others help themselves has been a strong and steady God post in our first lady's life. Your devotion, Mrs. Clinton, is a light and inspiration to the Miss America organization. For your belief and participation in the gift of community service, the 1995 Women of Achievement is presented in your honor a tribute that includes a generous grant from the Miss America organization for the cause of your choice and this beautiful sculptor by Waterford Crystal. Thank you so much, Heather. I am pleased to be the recipient of this award because I think it does represent achievement for women to honor other women and I am particularly proud of that. I also am grateful that with it comes a contribution to charity because the contributions that the Miss America organization have made over time have really enabled many people, as Heather was saying, to fulfill their own God-given potential. I don't know that many Americans even know that the Miss America organization is now the single largest provider of scholarships to women in the entire world. 
And as many of you know, I am a firm believer in education for women and girls to equip them with the tools that they need in their own lives to make the choices that are right for them. And for all of that, I thank you and I appreciate greatly this honor. Thank you all very much. with us in Atlantic City on NBC, celebrating 75 wonderful years of Miss America. Congratulations, Miss America, on your 75th anniversary. Boy, you're still looking good. Welcome back, everybody, to the 75th anniversary celebration of the Miss America pageant. And we're going right now to the phone center for a last report on tonight's national phone-in vote. Steve. Actually, the second to the last. I guess the next time we see you after this one will be the last, when we actually give you the results. There's been a last-minute rush of votes, I'm happy to report, however. As we said earlier, our 900 lines would be open for approximately 90 minutes, and we're almost there. 50 cents a call. If you're under 18, you need to ask for your parents' permission. Uh, by our count so far, we've received a total of 898,000 votes, and the computers are finishing the tabulation even as we speak. I had planned on registering my own vote, but I've been unable to get a dial tone. So, nevertheless, it doesn't matter anyway, because as of right now, I'm told, the phone lines are closed. Thanks very much for your vote. Kathy Lee and Regis, our accounting firm, will now uh, register the total votes that are being tabulated by our computer. And next time we speak, we'll reveal the results. Okay. All right, Thank Steve. You, Steve. Nearly a, a million votes so far. You Very said good. it would be about a million. Absolutely. Years. Thanks, Steve. Now, tonight's talent competition is about to begin. Usually, Kathy Lee and I introduce the 10 semifinalists to you. But on the occasion of this 75th anniversary, we've asked some of our former Miss Americas to do the honors. So let's meet our first special guest to get the competition underway, my good friend, the beautiful Phyllis George. Thank you, Kathy. The emotions of growing up are mirrored in the song, Woman in the Moon. Performing this reflection of tormented youth is tonight's first semi-finalist, Miss Oklahoma, Chantel Smith. Wow. <laughs> well, that concludes tonight's 75th anniversary talent competition. Thanks to all of our beautiful former Miss Americas. It was so lovely to see them all together. Mm, it really was. And now, folks, the phone center is ready. Believe it or not, here it is. The decision we've all been waiting for. Do we see? on our stage this evening or is it history tonight Steve Kometko tell us please please what Steve. the American public has decided on this swimsuit competition please. please I thought you'd never ask well we've had nearly a million calls a million votes registered with me is Kelly Miles from the accounting firm of first and young LLP she has the results and from the envelope uh, nearly a million calls and by an overwhelming margin, four to one margin, the decision is to keep the swimsuit competition and project scoring will proceed as usual. Just for the record, 79% yes, 21% no. So that's it here from the phone center. I'd like to help thank all our help here tonight, our support staff, and thanks everybody for calling in to vote. And now, on with the show. Thanks Steve, thank very you much. very, very much. Uh, four to one, a decisive margin. And a great turnout, too, nearly a million votes. We'll be returning for more of our 75th celebration in a moment. Guys, don't get up yet. Here's a word about a new kind of fruit. Fruit of the loom. And right after this Miss America classic moment. How high do you go on that thing? <laughs> what is the highest you've ever been? Well, I've never really measured it, but I don't imagine more than 20 or 25 feet. That looks look higher than that to me. I bet Ed McMahon's been higher than that. <laughs> well, anyway. But first, Ultras, with new Ultra Color Care Conditioner, will let you feel the power of color from Claro right after this classic Miss America moment. Susan, I'm going to ask you to turn and look at these words, please. Consider them for a moment and choose the one that you would like to discuss. Oh, the big words, huh? Which one do you like? 
Oh, I'm on your dress. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that word is not on the panel, I don't think. Congratulations on the 75th anniversary Miss America, and it just goes to show you don't have to be young to win the crown. You can be 75. Oh, you mean it's nearly 75. Oh, well, congratulations on that, too.